so for my uh, competition entry for the Hackster Arduino Microsoft World Maker Challenge I developed three devices and a Windows Universal application that can communicate with those devices and the main device on the project is this one which is built on the Maker 1000 which is Arduino's currently unreleased uh, development board I've got hold of one of these from being um, one of the phase one winners from this competition um, so just on the left you can see behind that white wire that's uh, a temperature sensor there and there's also a proximity sensor and door, uh, magnetic door switch so in the real world this device would be next to a door and it would be able to detect when people walk up to the door it would be able to detect whether the door is open or not and also allow monitoring of the temperature in the area uh, this device sends the sensor data to Azure IoT Hub and um, it also acts as a server so that the Windows Universal application can connect to it, read the sensor data and also uh, update the thresholds for the proximity sensor and the um, temperature sensor and over here are the other two devices they're both developed on Arduino Unos one of them is an NFC scanner and one of them is a fingerprint scanner and they communicate directly with the Windows Universal application via serial um, and they provide an alternative form of uh, authentication so instead of using the password feature um, you can actually scan a chip or your fingerprint to get access to the application itself so here you can see on the right hand side you can see the real time data coming from the Maker 1000 and you can see on the left the Windows Universal application I've got them split screen um, so the Universal Windows application um, includes weak artificial intelligence which is powered by SIML which is synthetic intelligent markup language and that's very similar to AML um, for all the old school natural linguistics you remember AML um, SIML's a lot Please more Please choose advanced. your login method to continue so here you've got three forms of authentication you can use password login uh, NFC login or fingerprint login so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you NFC and I'm going to use a microchip that's implanted into my hand just underneath where that brown dot is on the right hand side um, and I'm going to authenticate onto uh, the application using that chip that's in my hand Thank you Please select the COM port that your Authway NFC is connected to to continue. So now just need to select which, auth, uh, which COM port it's on so that the application knows which device to communicate with. Authway NFC online. Please scan your chip. So this bit's quite tricky because I'm actually holding the camera in one hand and trying to uh, scan the chip in the other, so just bear with me a second. Thank you. Please wait. Thank you. Redirecting you to application homepage. So that's authenticated me onto the application now and it's loading up. And that's now connecting you should be able to see a bit more activity on the right hand side that's connecting to the maker 1000 and it's retrieved the latest uh, readings so that's telling me that there's a temperature warning so it's currently set at 23 degrees so it's telling me that it's hotter than 23 degrees so what we can do is we can change the threshold so let's say 30 Sorry, I don't know. And she doesn't understand what I was saying. Sorry, I don't know. And that's now... Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> and that's now telling me that the temperature's okay there. So, just going back over to the board, if I open up the circuit and, and move the door sensor, 
and then reload. That now tells me that the door is open. So if I was anywhere else in the world and I was looking at that, I'd know that somebody had just gone into my house. So going back, if I close that again, and then reload. That now tells me that everything is okay. Now this application also includes um, voice recognition, um, which I'll do in another video to, to show you that. Uh, but that's the basics of the project that I've created and how it works. Um, with the voice recognition, everything that you can do here, so updating the proximity and the temperature readings, uh, reloading the data, um, you can actually do uh, by, by speaking to it. Um, the instructions for all of this and the source code is on my project page, um, which I will put into the link, uh, my project page on uh, Hackster and also on my github and once it's all ready to go which will be later tonight i'll put all of the links into the description for this video